Hey, what's up guys? This is Black Sheep 217 of YouTube and Luke of the Cardboard Review. And I'm today I'm going to review a box of 1112 Panini Contenders Hockey. Um, this is my second review box that Panini has sent me and I really want to thank Panini for sending me um, their product for review. Please check out my website, The Cardboard Review. I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video on YouTube. And as always, I do a lot of giveaways on my website. I will be giving away some of the cards from this box of Panini Contenders 2011-2012 to somebody who made a comment on my site. And thank you to all of those who did make a comment um, so far already. So I really do appreciate that. This is the inside of the box. We have, let's see, 18 cards, or 18 card packs, and 5 NHL cards per pack. The packs are pretty cool looking, silver, um, they look like the old school contenders packs, they're nice and foily, and uh, let's see what we get when we open up a box of 11-12 Panini contenders. Alright, so here we go, this is what a standard base card looks like, this is uh, Jonas Hiller. The cards look very nice, they're very bright, I love the amount of foil that they used on these cards, it's really great. Um, it's subtle. It's not too much foil, it's not over the top. I think Panini recently has really cut down on the amount of foil usage on these cards, which I think is, is really shows a lot of restraint and a lot of um, class when they did that. It's a, sort of a full bleed, it's almost a full bleed um, photography. It's not, if you'll notice, the bottom doesn't actually, it's not actually part of the photo. It sort of cuts off at the 3 or maybe the 75% part of the card, but it does look almost full bleed. They are very nice cards. Nice card stock, and like I said, five cards per pack. First pack was a base pack. Let's continue on, and let's see what we get in this box, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the cards as we finish up. Boxes are running about 110 so slightly over $100 um, per box. And here we go with our first hit. We have an Eric Fair NHL Inc. autograph. Okay, This is a silver version. There is no numbering on the back. There is a gold version of NHL Inc. where the NHL Inc. is in gold foil. And they are numbered, I believe, to 25. They might have different numberings, but it's really nice. This is an on-card autograph. Although I have seen some NHL Inc. cards with a sticker autograph. Okay, some more base cards. And it looks like we have a hit in this pack. We have a Ryan Thang Calder Contenders card. Now this is a really beautiful card. I really like the look of this card. The black background is really nice and stark. Um, really makes the card jump out and the foiling, I don't know if you can notice that, but it has this rainbow foil to it that just looks spectacular. These are really stunning cards. I love the look of these. I'll talk a little bit more about that card at the end. We have a Cup Contenders of Carey Price, number two nine ninety nine. Move a little quicker through the pack now. Another base pack. And more base. On the box it does say that you should get three autographs or three hits per box. And speaking of which, I get I got one here. Marcus Kruger. Calder Contenders number two eight hundred on card autograph. Very nice. Some more base. We have a Cup Contenders number 2999 of Sidney Crosby. And a redemption card. Oh, this is a nice one. And actually, this is something really cool that Panini has started doing just recently. This is a 
NHL Inc. Duels of Ryan McDonough and Tim Erickson. So an NHL Inc. Duels dual autograph. Um, it should be like the NHL Inc. card I pulled earlier. Who did I get earlier? Eric Fair, but with two autographs instead of one. Obviously of the Rangers. This is card number 10. And, you know, they started putting the players on the front of the redemption cards, which is really good. Because usually, or in the past, with Panini products, you had to look on a checklist and figure out who you got. Sometimes that could be a little confusing or it takes up a little bit more time. So I really appreciate them putting the names right on there. The drawback is they're not putting checklists in the box anymore. So, I don't know. Some people maybe like the checklists. Um, I personally just prefer having the names on the redemption. It makes it a lot easier for collectors. We got a Harry Sateri Calder Contenders card. And we have all base. Two more packs to go. I believe we got all our hits, so anything else would be a bonus at this point. And one last pack. And all base in that last pack. Okay, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this product. Um, move some of these base cards out of the way. Like I said, I do really like the cards quite a bit. I think the cards, especially the base cards, have a lot of quality to them. They feel very premium. It's a... I don't think it's a very thick cardstock, but it's a pretty sturdy cardstock. Um, the pictures look nice. It's kind of neat that they have the conference on the card. For Patrick Kane, you can see the Western Conference. Again, everything is just very subtle. Subtly done, nothing over the top. Really great, restrained use of foil there. And nice photographs. I don't think they're spectacular photographs. I haven't seen anything that really jumps out to me as odd or spectacular, but it's a solid photograph. Uh, Photogra <laughs> photograph? I don't know, I can't say it. Photograph, really great photograph there of the card. Here's the back. Um... Pretty plain back, nothing spectacular. Reminds me a little bit of the certified back. Some of the fonts just kind of remind me of, of certified for whatever reason. Um, in terms of the inserts, you get three. Unless you get a bonus, you get more. We have these Calder Contenders cards. And this year, I really think Panini Contenders is trying to align themselves with Upper Deck's SP Authentic brand. Um, these Calder Contender cards remind me of the Future Watch cards, and they are numbered to $9.99. Just like an SP Authentic, these have no autograph, and they have autograph versions as well. So here's Harry Sateri, a very cleanly designed card. Again, I like the ghosted out background in the back. That actually reminds me a little bit more of SPA, but um, beautiful looking cards, and they are great. We also have the NHL Inc. Now these are... Um, sort of like the Sign of the Times cards with the on-card autograph, no numbering. So they kind of remind me a lot of those cards. But these are actually very nice looking, very clean, large space for the autograph. Blue ink autograph looks very nice. And again, there's the back. Then the autograph called Contender Cards. Those look like the Future Watch autographs on card. But these are numbered to 800. So in the past, Upper Deck has done Future Watch autographs to 999. These are numbered to 800, so there are about 200 less of these per player. So, um, you know, these could be more valuable in terms of just if you're going by the numbering. I don't know what collectors will think about that um, going on into the future, but they are fewer in number as their SP authentic counterparts, and they are on card autographs as well. The Cup Contender cards, um, they are numbered 999. They remind me a lot of the Essentials cards from the SPA, except there are a thousand less of these. So, but typically these types of cards aren't, you know, they don't garner a lot of money. Um, they're just kind of, they add value to the set. They add a little bit of collecting challenge to the set. Uh, I'm someone who's, who's thinking about collecting this set, and um, these will be a challenge. I'll try to pick them up in a big lot. Otherwise, they might be pretty difficult because they do have quite a few of these. And buying them individually with shipping, that's, that's a lot of money. But um, hopefully I can find a lot of these in a lot and get them all at once. The one type of card that really stands out that I think makes Contenders a huge winner are these Calder Contender cards, and they also have the veteran version of these cards, and if you look on eBay, you'll see some of these cards with these amazing 
patches and autographs and these cards really stand out they I know SP Authentic does have a version of a card like that but by making these cards all black I think that design element just is a real killer design element really does um, add a level of sophistication to the cards that um, that I haven't seen from Panini yet and I think this direction is a great way to go this card has no memorabilia or autograph on it but it is still super thick um, for a card with no autograph or anything or uh, sorry no patch piece or jersey piece but it is a great looking card and I think collectors will really enjoy these types of cards the other insert that I got was that NHL Inc. Duel and this kind of reminds me of uh, Sign of the Times where they had duels and triples and so forth the one thing I didn't get in my contenders box was a booklet card and so uh, unfortunately I didn't get one of those but they are spectacular they have versions with four autographs up to six autographs with starting six of teams it's a great card actually I bought one on eBay of the Sharks when I get that in you guys should check that out it will be on my YouTube channel probably by next week just picked one up on eBay so I'm really excited to get that but overall I highly highly recommend Panini Contenders this year I think it's vastly improved over last year's product um, Panini did a great job in improving this product and I really gotta give kudos up to them it it is a great product this year um, I've heard on the forums other collectors they might not have liked it so much they think $108 for three hits in you know if you get just a bunch of scrub rookie cards or no names you're gonna really you know bust and miss out but you know what that's that's just the fact of life for hockey cards or any type of type of card product you're not gonna win on on hardly any of the stuff that you buy so overall I think this is a really solid product I would recommend it to just about anybody personally um, let me know what you think about Panini Contenders if you liked it or if you don't I'm gonna leave a link to my blog down below for my written review check it out and uh, see what you think. I'd love to hear from you, and I know Panini would love to hear from you as well. Again,